Hello YouTube, today I will be showing you how to create a DVD video using an application called DVD. So the first thing you need to do is open the Ubuntu Software Center because Ubuntu does not come with this application by default. Okay, so once again, once it opens, we're going to navigate to the upper right hand corner and type in DVD as you see it on your screen. Now go ahead and just highlight it and install it. In my case, I already have it installed. Once it installs, then we can proceed. So we'll go ahead and close that out and launch the application called DVD. Since I, re uh, since I frequently use this application, I just put it on my launcher. It saves time, especially since I make tons of DVDs every other day. So let's proceed. Once you see this menu, choose DVD or video DVD and as you can see here here's your default menu it separates it into two categories titles and files so under titles I'm going to change that and put play underneath that you can see where it says action to perform when this title ends I put stop reproduction and show the disk menu I'm gonna leave that as default and I'm gonna click OK the next thing that I'm going to do is add a file. So I'm going to go ahead and add a file underneath the bold file letters. Just go ahead and click on that bar and then as add your video. So I'm going to add my video. And of course, underneath here we have more options. It asks us a video format and as you can see we have two video formats, PAL and NTC. NTSE. Okay, underneath this, I'm going to go ahead and put advanced options. Under the advanced options, I have more options that I can uh, input into my video. Most being video format. Here, you can choose the size of the video and the aspect ratio. So, if you want, you have a flat screen, 6.9 would be the way to go. And of course, we got video options down here, okay? now it's going to ask a scaling mode are we going to add the black bars that you see on your white screen movies or do you want to scale the image as you can see here it tells you that the image will look a little stretched out okay but if you default that to uh, the aspiration to uh, 4 and 3 you should be fine okay let's move on to the quality uh, quality I'm going to leave it as default okay that works best for me if you have a higher end computer then you can change these settings as you please and of course the passing of encoding as well okay it tells you here what will happen if you choose these options for example use tool uh, pass encoding which tells you better quality and much lower conversion again that depends on your hardware that you have on your computer okay audio okay usually I have a surround sound well that's what I have what am I talking about I put create a DVD with 5.1 cha um, channel sound. If you don't have it, just leave it as is and hit OK. Now, there's going to be some times where some options that you choose may be over the uh, disk usage, okay? But if you hit the adjust disk usage button, it will adjust the settings for you that to give you enough space to actually make the movie for that DVD, okay? now let's go back down to where it says menu options okay if you want to create a specific menu you can do that now by default this is a menu you'll see when you're creating a DVD but if you want to spaz it up and make it nice and cool then you can choose to go ahead and change that and as you can see here it says menu background only PNG I've actually used JPEG it has crashed on me or caused me any problems but it's always best to use PNG so we can change our picture so let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and choose a picture okay and then I can choose where the text will or the play will will show okay again I'll preview video and this is exactly what my DVD menu will look like. Once all that set is, set is said and done, 
then go ahead and click forward here you can choose your destination where you want to save your file my case I'll choose desktop and then here you can name the movie okay so I will choose funny movie hit OK it will proceed now this process does take longer on DVD movies okay if you rip the DVD movie and you want to spaz it up and create your own menus and so forth depending on the file size of the movie it will take anywhere from an hour to maybe even two hours again that's also dependent on two things the file size and the hardware you have on your PC okay but on smaller videos it will go by pretty quick as you can see here this video is actually processing a little bit faster than most videos would okay as you can see here it says job done okay now I know the question you probably ask is how do I make sure the video burnt correctly or created the ISO file correctly well you can test it out with your you know media player app in this case uh, VLC will be my hero so let's open it up there it is in the funny video let's go ahead and open VLC I'm gonna choose open file under the media tab and browse to the funny movie directory okay I'm gonna choose open and as you can see here I can now play the movie and watch it okay so you can actually check your work using this method if not then you may waste a bunch of DVDs and you don't want to do that okay this is the easiest way to check your work and make sure that everything is intact and you see the movie from start to finish okay so this is an easy way of creating a DVD using the application called DVD on Linux DVD is also available on Ubuntu, Linux Mint, and of course Fedora and OpenSUSE. Okay. Alrighty, fellas. This concludes the tutorial for today. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Uh, please subscribe. And in the future, you'll see more videos as I'm cranking them out as much as I can. Okay, guys? please comment and send me any feedback I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible thank you for watching YouTube bye